we are back all month long talking counter rotation training again, but exercises to maximize counter rotation, but also to strengthen the core. Today we're talking about landmines. A lot of people do this movement. They actually have uh, landmine uh, bar units where you can put the bar inside a unit. So it stabilizes right now. Will is a 14 year old and he's, in a, he's a TP1, TP2 athlete moving into the TP2 level. Using a 45 pound bar could be challenging for some athletes. So find a bar, find a lighter bar for some of your younger athletes, but this is a little bit more of an advanced movement for our older kids. Joe, talk to us about landmines and how it fits into the progression of counter rotation exercises. So as Stuart McGill said, you can either live or die by the landmine uh, because you see a lot of people do this exercise, but they're doing it with spine rotation, which will break down your back. But if you do it, locking your ribs to the pelvis, pivoting at, at, you know, at the feet and you're moving at the hips, this can really be a great exercise to build performance in the core. So we're going to have Will do it and he's going to demonstrate. He's going to grab the bar up here because if you, when you get stronger, you're going to put some plates on there. Um, so yeah, the more advanced athletes, the older athletes will have some light plates. This will be locked into the, a wall or a corner. You know, you don't want to have this out like now. I mean, my foot would be against it if, if need be. Yeah. What you say? You just pull it back a little yeah. bit more. Uh, here, okay. All right, so Will's gonna lock the ribs to the pelvis. He's gonna pivot his feet. He's gonna bring that bar down to his hip. Squaring up with it, keeping his chest square. Good, and he's gonna bring it back up. So the, the eccentric part of it is coming down. So he's eccentrically controlling the load, and then he's concentrically exploding up into a lift pattern. So you can do this where you're going to the same side for a few reps, or you can do one, go in the middle, and stop in the middle, and then go to the other side. Talk to us about reps and sets, where this fits in the routine, Joe. So again, uh, if you're training for power, I would do this for between four, five, six, up to maybe seven reps, and two, three, four sets. You can yeah. play around with it, and this is definitely gonna go in the workout, because this is not really a warm-up exercise. Yeah, no, this, yeah. This is a challenging exercise in terms of technique. I would say mm -hmm. from a technical aptitude standpoint, you really need to be honed in. So this is not something you're gonna do with the younger kids. You're gonna do this more with your, with your higher level kids, start off with a lightweight, really hone in the technique to get them again, to lock in that, that pelvis. Whenever we have a rotational movement, you know, it's very easy for these kids to rotate at the spine, is which we don't want, because that's gonna be more damaging than helpful. So the last thing we want to do, guys, is to do movements that could be more damaging than helpful. So when you're honing in, lighter weight, control technique, and when the kids really get this, man, the power generation is insane. I've seen it happen because everything's coming from the hips and the spine is locked down. So again, follow the Parisi methodology, technique, 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 slowly increase intensity, and guess what? You're at a higher level performance.